Hi, I'm Chase Garbarino. And I'm Greg Gomer, and this is the Boston Obeat. Big week, or tough week for Boston. It's just rough. Our chances of hosting the Olympics are over. My personal hopes uh, broadcasting live at the Olympics as, you know, on camera, we're gonna host the beat live at the Olympics. It's over, we're done. We had no shot. We're not gonna be doing that in nine years. Yeah, I don't really feel like talking too much today. It's way too hot out, so, sorry, man. Let's get started. Well, obviously we're having some problem, and sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. We'll do it live, F it. The big one this week. Earnings season is here. A lot of our companies are announcing earnings, but the biggest one of note uh, was Twitter. Uh, Twitter had an interesting earnings. Um, they announced their earnings right after the bell. Mm -hmm. Stock shot up. Decent yep. numbers. Good revenue. Stock's up 12%. Jack Dorsey <laughs> gets on the earnings call. They periscope it. Had some choice words about the company. Stock tanks 13 to 15%. Yeah. What happened? Uh, I watched the whole thing on yeah. Periscope. It was on not, your phone? yeah, it was not good. It was yeah. not good. But what I will say about Twitter is Anthony Noto and Jack Dorsey yeah. were very, very underwhelming. Yeah, bombed. Jack, they yep. bombed it. It's basically Jack's first real um, yeah. impression to the street. He, he basically said, there's no, there's no end in sight to our flat user growth. Yep. Uh, and we've got some ideas, but the there was no substance on how they're going to grow users. Yeah. Anthony Noto, who's supposed to be one of the people that is going to be a uh, prospective CEO candidate, I was very unimpressed with him. Bomb. Um, it was just it was poor all around. It's poor all around. Bomb. Which is why stock what closed at thirty one something. Down. <laughs> yeah, Tank. Um, it bombed. Total bomb. Okay. <laughs> Making moves this week, huge moves, unicorn-sized moves, DraftKings. Mm -hmm. uh, worst rumor in town was that they were raising a huge round. It closed, 300 million. Originally rumored to be led by Disney, led by Fox, a number of other people, but more importantly, uh, they had a bunch of the leagues get involved in this financing round, which is huge yep. for the fight for fantasy sports. So they had uh, the MLB, the NHL, the MLS, and the Kraft Group, who had been a previous investor, but I mean, that's huge validation for them. Yeah, Jason Robbins and the team over there just smoking hot right now, hot right on now. fire, closing major leagues. Boom. I mean, FanDuel's out, DraftKings is in. DK for the win. Love it, love it. You want to throw some options our way? Bam. Before the IPO. I I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish. Unwanted feedback, uh, a lot this week. We a tried lot. to keep the other On segments short. Do. I don't know if it's the heat that is driving you guys all crazy. They, they do say the craziest come out in the heat. It's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. One person uh, wrote in saying that yep. we now that we don't drink beer, we're not funny. And that hashtag, it must be the marriages. I thought last week was funny. Yep. We were called cowards. Cowards. By, uh, we should protect his identity, C. Greenhall. Yep, Green from, from DTZ, yep. which is, uh, we won't say what industry. Well, he was upset because we were talking about sharks. Yep. He's a big surf guy. Yep. And we, we neglected to mention Mick Fanning. Getting attacked by a shark. Well, beaten up the great white shark. Right, and then. Green Z wanted, he, I think he wishes he was Mick Fanning. C. Green. C. Green, sorry, wishes he was <laughs> Mick Fanning. He wanted to fight a shark, so right. he was pretty. pretty so he called us cowards. Yep. So that, both of those happened last week. And then finally, on a this little week, bit more serious note. This week, some serious yeah, feedback. A woman named Susan yep. wrote in. Uh, she said that our rants and the beat this week, yep, she wasn't too said. happy that we right. said we needed you know, more passionate leadership that wasn't going to give up on the Olympics. Yep. She said that as an investor and as a founder that you need data to support your cause yep. and not just beer parties. Or blind ambition. <laughs> and I said, so are you, are you talking about 2024 or are you talking about us? And she said 2024. Well, what I will say, do. though, is she didn't read my rant because all it was about was how we needed different leadership and transparency and all these things. So I think pretty much I got attacked twice. You got attacked three times. I got attacked multiple times. We did get a little positive, some tweets. People said that our eulogy for the 2024 bid was spot on. So yeah. we did have some supporters for that. Yeah. Um, but I didn't see just, those. Mostly I just getting jammed up. Those. Which is cool. Feedback. To fly, I fall without my wings. I feel so 
One more bit of news today. Normally this is this Greg's week, segment. Just one more bit of news this week. Chase tries to steal it again. I had a couple things I wanted to jump in on <laughs> before he goes in on his rant. Uh, there was some huge news this week. Ben Affleck is dating his mm. nanny. Apparently that's Brutal. huge. Some, Cut all this. Some dentist shot a lion. Uh, the internet erupted. That's You should know about that. More importantly, you were just singing a Justin Bieber song. Um, he announced his new single. What's that? Coming out in August. Like Where are you now? That's Biebs. Um, okay. Continue. That's him? Yeah. yeah that's Keep good going. Too. The fact that we're about to talk about Tom Brady and the Patriots and he needed to get all that in, like, not, not a football fan. Like, yeah. <laughs> this might be the beginning and the end of this show. Bobby Kraft, owner of the New England Patriots, came out swinging today. Choice words. After Goodell and the clowns at the NFL office upheld Tom Brady's ridiculous four game suspension. And Kraft came out, and this is unprecedented in league history. Yep. yep. He came out and said, I shouldn't have trusted yep. the league. He apologizes. Apologized to Patriots yep. Nation for not fighting the original penalty. Yep. And Tom Brady will be suing the NFL oh. in federal court. Now, get your popcorn. What ready. nobody pays attention to, which drives me absolutely mad, is that Goodell yep. initially said that he suspended Ray Rice for two games uh, for allegedly hitting a woman right, for right. lack of evidence. Right. Domestic violence. Where we saw, we all saw the Tom video. Brady, there's not much evidence that he necessarily was directly involved yep. in deflating footballs, gets four games. <sighs> so the precedent being set here is that gamesmanship is more important than domestic violence. Not great for the NFL. It's embarrassing. I don't care if you're a Patriots fan or not. That's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's infuriating. But we have beers, so I don't want to end on like a terrible note, so. <laughs> Stay cool out there, Boston. We'll try and be more funny, I guess. Thanks for coming out. I'm, gonna, I'm hot today. <laughs> Backwards lid. Hey, cheers. 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 Hey, cheers. Dollar. Dollar, cheers. Hey, dollar. 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 Cheers.